go clock out. You're done for the day. When a man is broken, he can destroy everyone around him by what he does. When a woman is broken, she can destroy everyone around her by what she says. He can destroy everyone around him by what he does. When a woman is broken, she can destroy everyone around her by what she says. This against me because if you do that, you're telling me that I cannot trust you. And you teach me to shut up. Every time you betray my trust, you seal in me another layer of silence. And when I scream, I die screaming and you can't hear me and you never know why I died because you taught me not to talk to you when you use my talk against me. Emotions. Emotions. You say we have no emotions, you haven't got a clue. We got emotions you never even saw. We got screams you haven't heard. We got poetry that's never been written. We've got love shut up in our hearts and in our minds and in our guts, our bowels, our loins that never reaches you. Because you cannot hear. Because you cannot hear the language we speak. You're using words that men talk. You're, you're texting men saying top of the morning. I find that offensive <laughs> coming from a woman. <laughs> top, top of the morning from a woman? You're saying like man in the text, M-A-N-N. What's up, man? When we gonna, like, are you kidding me? Calling you bro. Yeah, calling me bro. <laughs> Listen, ladies, if no man has never took the time to put you up on game to make you a better woman, see, cause a man will know if you've been with a good man prior to him. Cause you see the way you move. Like, oh man. But when you see him crazy, you see him all out of line, <laughs> you gotta leave him alone because you no know, yeah, some of you ladies got fat ass, you're gorgeous, but they only f they ain't teach you nothing. Mm. And a man when he meets a woman, whether he stays with her or not, he puts to drop knowledge facts into her. You're supposed to leave her better than how you found her. Exactly. Nah, man, he's definitely speaking facts. And also to capitalize on what he's saying, um, a lot of women definitely, definitely overuse these uh, like deers and hun and all that stuff. Um, yes, that that very masculine aura. I have women that called me bro and, um, you know, things didn't really end too well or I didn't know um, where I wanted them in my life. So I just left them alone and assess things differently but at the same time um, when it really comes down to like those women who uses those terms of endearment heavily watch out for those two um, because coupling that with what he's saying uh, some of these women you can't teach them anything you can't add value to their lives and so you don't you take what you can get with what she's willing to provide to you because you see what type of woman she is and then you just keep it pushing it's not much you can do at that point man i'm just being honest Watch this man beg for his wife not to leave him. I'm trying to leave and he is not no, letting no, me. Please, please don't leave. I'm screwed up. Let me go. No, please, stop. Please, please stop. Please. please. Brad, please. you need to let baby, me no, leave. Stop. Listen, I have screwed up. Please don't. Please. Let me out of here. Please stop, baby. Please. Please don't. Okay, I'm going to call for help. No, stop. I'm done. Stop. Calm down. I'm desperate. I want to leave. I'm desperate. I don't want you to leave. Please. Leave. Please don't. Please. Let me Please. go. No, don't stop. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. Stop. Stop. Please. Leave. Stop. Stop. You need to leave. Stop. Bella, let me go. Just stop. What is wrong? You need to so wrong. I'm not safe. You need you to let me go. I'm not, just stop and love me. I love you. Okay, I'm leaving. No, you're not. I'm leaving. Stop. I'm on my knees. Give me a break. If you're leaving, get up and Give walk out. Give me a out. second. Go over there, yeah, I'm please. calling the cops. Go over there. Now, why has she decided to end her marriage? Well, take a listen to this. But you know what? This throwing stuff and this intimidation stuff. You no, know, Tim, it's because I want to punch you in the face. It's your choice. Knock you the f out, put your head to that window, or throw 
your choice. And you're not abusive. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna hit you. And since she's had enough, she's now told him to get out of her house. But listen to how he changes the narrative to try and convince her that she is the one that's crazy. You can still stop this. You are hurting me. You're hurting this family. You're hurting everybody. Okay. Be the change. Whatever, bro. Just be difference. Be the difference. You have the power. Nart you have the alert. That you've always wanted in this you life. You need to go. You're just digging yourself a hole. You could be the difference. And we could be happy if you would let it happen. But remember what he said in the first video? I'm trying to leave and he is not no, letting no, me. Please, please don't leave. I'm screwed up. Let me go. No, but now that she's finally over his games, he's getting desperate. And like many narcissists, he claims that he will harm himself if she leaves him. Of course, a tactic to make you feel guilty and that all of this will be your fault if he decides to do it. No. No, honey, don't, please. Please don't do this. I'm okay. begging you, don't. Please. No, I can't do Baby, this. Baby, no, you don't understand. I can't. I will freak out, kill that's myself. That's where I'm at. I'll just... do if that's what you got to do. Brad! <gasps> please, just stop. You have serious just problems. Just stop. All you can do is stop. Don't say, don't move, don't nothing. Just stop, please. Just do it. Please, just one time, just do it. Please. I'm begging you, don't even talk. Just sit there quietly for one minute, please. We're not going to see that video because we don't like to see weakness on this page. I'm just saying. Now, if we really assess this situation, you have a guy who was never taught on how to actually be a man. He was never taught by a father how to love properly. And by taught, I'm not saying his father wasn't there, but I'm saying you were not taught outside of a narcissistic personality disorder. When you hold traits like this. This is a huge sign of weakness. We already talk about on this channel uh, when it comes to holding down the fort, when it comes to being a man, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to be able to hold your own frame and holding your own frame is literally just being able to be one with yourself. If you messed up and you've done a disservice in a relationship, this is not the type of begging that's going to make somebody come back. What's going to make somebody come back is seeing that you've changed. Now, let's get out of the cliches, the masculine, the alpha, the beta, all that stuff. Let's really dive deep onto what these issues can be. When you talk about somebody of this nature, this guy is sick, man. He is sick and there's too much to assess. But the biggest thing you want to assess is the fact that he never chose himself. And I, my hopes is that he does choose himself, um, but he never chose himself. And that begins to be an issue in many men's lives. I said this before in another um, episode, or I said this before in another video, narcs choose suckers. So once you get a sucker, you know you got them. And if you ever feel like they're going to leave, all that toughness, all that this, all of that, it goes out the window. I faced a narc. In a female setting, I face the narc in a male setting. In a female setting, a lot of times what narcs will do when they think that you're weak, they will up their game a little bit more and they will say, oh, well, you know, I just, you just do your thing. I want you to do whatever makes you happy to try to guilt you into like being happy or guilt you into like wanting to leave them. I just want you to be happy. No, the f you don't. Because if you did, if you knew what make, if I told you that leaving you because you cheated on me and clapping Cindy right down the hall would make me happy, you will have a, a conniption. You will have a fit, given the fact that I've been thinking about clapping the cheeks, but I thought you were being good to me and I was going to be good to you back. But now that you have not been good to me back, I'm going to clap Cindy's cheeks because every time you were away, she said, hey, Don, you good? You need anything? Can you come? You know, can you? No, I can't. I'm married. Nope, I can't. I'm in a relationship. Nope. I got my eyes on one woman and then I decide you decide to do whatever. I'm going to break Cindy's back. She is definitely going to need some type of amazing surgery after I get done breaking her back. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way, guys. Um, but no, and then in the sense where a man is a narc, um, you deal with men who are narcs in the sense where they try to prove that they're tough to you. 
And they always try to prove they're tough in ways that will never matter. And what I mean is, it could be something as detrimental as a man trying to off another guy. You still didn't prove how tough you are. You proved how weak you are. A tough man is a man who can say, okay, let bygones be bygones. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to proceed forward and choose myself so that no one else can make me angry. Nobody else can take away from me what I have built. None of that. But a weak man is, I got to prove myself. I got to prove myself. I got to get a family member to help me prove myself. I gotta, no one gives a shit about that. You're not tough. You're weak. So in a man setting, a lot of times you'll see also when you have, for instance, a guy like me, I know how to fight. I know how to shoot. I know how to do a lot of things to definitely protect myself, period. But it's not up to me to try to sit here and prove that to people. But when you have a guy like me and other men like me who are masculine men, they don't put their hands on women, none of that stuff. That factors in when it comes down to meeting a narc man. A narc man wants to prove how tough he is. I don't want to prove how tough I am. I know that I can whoop your ass. I know it. I don't want to prove it to you. And this is where it comes to where narc, narc men will be like, I ain't afraid of you. I'm not asking you to be afraid of me. It didn't. I You being afraid of me does not take away from the fact that I can arm bar you and pull that motherfucker right out. That doesn't, it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not asking for fear. So you'll understand with narc men, it's all pre where men who are healthy, it's all post. If you don't know, and <laughs> pre is going in, post is coming out. If a, with a narc man, it's pre, I want to scare you. With a non-narc man, a healthy man, I don't want to scare you, but just understand there's a place that I can put you in for sure without having to scare you. And whether you are not scared in the outcome after I do what I want to do, the end result is the end result of how you placed yourself to me. If you, if you pose a threat, if you did anything toward me in any type of way, that says what your result is, but I'm not trying to scare you with what the result may be. I'm just going to give you the result. So you look at this man and you look at all these people who face or try to seem scary. And this guy said he's going to off himself and all that stuff, bro. That's just because they landed a sucker in their life. They're not used to getting somebody who's strong enough to say, I can leave all y'all. I'll leave all y'all right behind. They're not used to that. So then it whatever their tactic was that worked before, it will work. So if it worked in previous relationships that they're going to sit here and cry and beg and you took it before, they're going to do it. If it worked before that you got brawlic and all that stuff and you backed down, they're going to do it. But at the end of the day, it's too hard for them to find another sucker. It's easy for you to move on. Very easy for you to move on, especially if it's just with your own self. But it's too hard for them to find another sucker. They got you in every which form. A month, two months, a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, they've been with you. You've been off and on, breaking and all that stuff from then till now. And now you decide that you want to up and leave and do something? Nah, it's too hard to get another sucker like you. So, man, be careful of this, ladies. I'm praying for that woman. Um, praying for her and her, her recovery but be careful of people like this man you guys got to stay prayed up and stay fixed up so that you are living healthy lives and for all the people who are suffering from um, disabilities you know MPD um, people who have other things listen let me tell you something choose yourself this is the big this is the big shebang of this entire video for people suffering with narcissistic traits and things of that nature where you need people to survive and get your toxic your toxic traits out choose yourself damn there's only one of you stop crying stop being a little bitch choose yourself okay such and such don't want to love me somebody else can love you you can love yourself yo if you think about it in this aspect Many people do not want you when you're starting a business. You start in a business, they want to know about their benefits. They're not trying to be a contract worker. They'd rather go work for a reputable company because it's already built. There is no difference from that company and you. If you build yourself up, you are a reputable, per a reputable person. Outside of that, when you keep trying to prove yourself to other people, and please be with me so I can trick you. What the fuck, man? What you need to trick me for? Just change your life. 
choose you. This is a message in love. Listen to me. This is a message in love. Choose yourself. You don't need to consistently try to do sick tactics to try to get people to reel, to reel them in and just fake the funk. You're hurting yourself. You're causing yourself a disservice. That shit causes cancer in your blood. It causes cancer in your bones. Choose yourself, damn it. I'm telling you, you are important enough to choose yourself. Stop doing this sick shit because it ain't going to get nobody nowhere and you're going to consistently hurt yourself. You think you're mad at the world, but you hate you. You think you're mad at your ex, but you hate you. You think you're mad at all these different tactics and all these things that you tried and they failed. You failed. Fix yourself. You are worth fixing. I promise you. I, I promise you. You are worth fixing. Spend some time with yourself. It will help you. You can heal. You can grow. And I promise you will never need to try to trick another person in your life ever again. Don J. Luminous Horizon, shedding light on limited perceptions as always. Be lit.